Hey there, Tubies. Welcome to my manga madness. <sighs> okay. Uh, got some real cool shit to show y'all. Um, shit to show y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Making up my own Japanese words. Uh, first thing I got, Akira. Now, I went over to my half, my half price books. They had these here, uh, there for twelve fifty. I thought, damn, that's that's expensive. I look, I look on the back here; it's twenty four ninety five original. And if you live in Canada, thirty seven ninety five. What the hell, man? You know, I, I can't imagine Canadians wanting to pay that much. But look how much book you get! It is it is freaking huge. It's like seven by ten, and it's it, and it's thicker than Shonen Jumps magazines. Okay. This thing has like 300 and, uh, 355 pages, first volume. Now, the place I went to said that these volumes, the first volume was 189 pages. Now, I don't know what website told me that, but that's what I saw. I thought, 189 pages, that's not too bad. It said six volumes. I thought, okay, I can see that. But, uh, no, it's this big, huge graphic, you know, it's, 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 it's just so big dang huge man and it's just you know it makes it oh, yeah I got a pull nerd there <laughs> alright um and not only that they had the freaking second volume there and now when I saw the second volume I thought oh it's like big you know it's the big vis thing you know they got like two or three of these in there because I, I looked in the back of this and it's 300 and something odd pages too and, uh, yeah 301 pages and I thought, oh, cool. And then I look in the back here. They show all six volumes. I thought, what? What? They show they show all six volumes. They all say it's you know twenty four ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine. I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking, they sell them like this all the freaking time, and I, I just couldn't believe that shit. So I got to figure out a way to find the uh, other volumes. Now, I bought some more while I was there because you know, I, I just didn't want to go buy two two volumes and, you know, just, you know, get out of there, you know, although that would have been like $25, $26, that's, that, that just didn't suit me enough, you know, I like, if I'm going to spend money, I got to spend it, you know, you just, so I picked up another series, it's called Dean Angel, don't know anything really about it, uh, just picked it up, it's been sitting there for like an entire month, I thought, I won't claim this as my own, because, you know, they had 11 volumes in there, and it takes like 13 to complete it. So yeah, and I thought this was by uh, the same person that did Peter Tim because it has the uh, cute little drawings on the back, and it's made by Tokyo Pop, but it's not. It's 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 a completely different person. But I I hope it's gonna be a cool series because I you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get more of it. You know, I'm gonna try and get all eleven volumes. Now they had a complete thing of uh, Chobits there, but I was thinking Chobits. I mean, I kind of already know what it's about. I mean, you know, I don't. Don't take a genius to figure out what the hell that one's about, but yeah. Uh, but this was my favorite drawing. This one right here. It's cool. That's so kawaii! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's how I am. Um, then I went over to uh, this new one. Well, it's actually, well, it's not new. It just moved around. It went from like one part of the one part of the parking lot to the other side of the parking lot, so yeah. Um, they had their manga in a little glass case, and I thought, okay, I can kind of see that. You know, it's got a lock on there to make sure no one steals your shit, but, you know. Uh, I took a look in there, I was like, no one's going to want to steal this. Like, they got fake, they got eerie query. I picked up one book, had three guys on there, like, half shirt open and ties, you know, they're pulling on them, you know, like, what? What is this shit? You know, I just put that shit back, you know. But they had a lot of clearance stuff. They had a lot of clearance ones. And they were like a dollar, two dollars. I thought, gotta get some. And I started looking through there and I'm like, okay. Uh, this one caught my eye. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool looking. I'm like, it, it has a really traditional Japanese look. Uh, I'd go get you a real Japanese book, but, you know, I just don't want to do all that right now. Uh, it's called Sare 5. I think 5 is go. So Sare, go. Whatever. Alright, whatever. Yeah, go. Yeah. But um, the strange thing is that it reads uh, left to right, uh, unlike the other ones which read right to left. And what the... 
sorry, uh, Goku Midnight Eye? What the f What the F is that? And you're like, whoa, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, this is volume five. Oh, snap. Oh, well, it's still something cool, you know. I don't know, I might give it away, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but a lot of these other ones I picked up because they were, uh, volume ones. Uh, Mama Teacher is Wonderful? What the F? Okay, whatever. Uh, it's called Happy Lesson. Um, I don't know what the hell it's about. I just picked it up, okay? Just don't judge me. <laughs> That's why I picked it up. Right here. It's the sign of the devil. <laughs> it's called ADV Manga. I, can't, I cannot stop finding this shit everywhere. I can... It's following me, you know. So yeah, um, here was one I picked up just because it was so effing weird. And I thought when I first looked at it, I thought it was a um, parody of GTO or Great Teacher Onizuka. Um, but you know, I thought GYO. I thought, hey, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I thought, then I thought, yo, you know, yo, yo. Excuse me. <laughs> Can't get my lips to. Say that shit correctly. So yeah, this is the weirdest crap I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a giant fish on there. Two scared, you know, people. So yeah, uh, and I picked this up because it was a dollar. You know, and it must be really old because that's the old style Viz on there. At least I think that's the old style because the other ones that they use is the the red V and the white background or whatever. And uh, it looks pretty cool. And what's this say? Editor's choice. All right, whatever. Uh, this one y'all probably already heard of, Battle Royale. Uh, I don't. I usually uh, try to stay away from these because they they got this weird kind of satin feel. But it, it, you know, I'll flip through here. There's a guy playing guitar. There's blood. And there's gore. You know, there's all kinds of half naked bitches. Whoa. <laughs> some guy laughing. Some dude doing this. Going to this place. Yada yada yada. I thought it was pretty cool. So, and plus, I've heard of Battle Royale. You know. uh, here's a pretty good one, Bastard. <laughs> pretty straightforward, you know. Just it's not hard to figure out what's in there. Um, I assume it's something about a bastard. Um, now they they also had they had Volume One, and then they had like Volume Thirteen and Volume Whatever. I thought, well, at least they have Volume One here. So yeah, I picked that one up. Um, and again, it was only a dollar. It was on clearance. So kick ass. I, you can see where I'm going with this. I bought a lot of dollar ones, you know, even this one, Warriors of Tao. Never heard of it, but I picked it up because it was a dollar. And uh, a lot of times you can go wrong if you buy stuff for a dollar. Whoa. That's not going wrong. Uh, whoa, dude, like, there's a fish on his cock or something. <laughs> I, I hope we'll get uh, flagged for that or something. Like, but dude, dude, what the F, man? What the F? <laughs> what the hell did I buy? Okay, um, that's, hey, at least that's not as bad as some of the yaoi's I saw there. I saw Fag, I saw Eerie Query, I saw one with three dudes half naked, pulled on ties, you know, half undressed, you know, school uniforms and whatnot, I'm like, Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'm putting it back. <laughs> I, like, I saw volume one, I thought, okay, here's a new one, you know. No! <laughs> putting it back. Um, for mature audi audiences, ages 16 plus, uh, Negima, a lot of y'all probably have heard of this. Uh, if you have, any, uh, if you've ever seen Love Hyena or have it on uh, manga form, you, you're probably going to recognize this, because it's made by the same person. Um, don't touch that wand. <laughs> How straightforward is that? Alright, um, here's another one. It's called Category Freaks. Uh, I think I picked the better one out of the two that they had there. And I would check to make sure, you know, it just wasn't, you know, floppy. I, I didn't, I didn't know if it was supposed to be like that or not. Age is 18 plus. Yeah. I, I don't normally look at the age whatevers or whatever, you know, I just don't. I'm like, I'm just going to pick it up, you know. I don't give two craps about it. And of course, there's a cute little girl in the back. Big deal. Here's the last one. It's called Blood Sucker, and uh, pretty straightforward on the on the front cover. Um, 
<laughs> um, and again, two bucks clearance. Uh, let's see. It's pretty. It's not too bad looking. There's a lot of uh, pretty graphic. Of course, it's a graphic novel. <laughs> we gotta deal with graphics. <laughs> not like space age graphics or any weird shit like that. And you're like, oh well. Uh, and everything looks pretty cool in here, you know. Uh, I whoa, he's got a he's got a nine millimeter right there. Mm. Don't shoot that mel up. All right, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I'm just flipping through here, just looking for something weird. Oh, well. you know, there's just all kinds of weird, goofy crap. I kind of like this picture. It's like, man, I'm a badass. You know, kind of stuff. Like, whoa, <laughs> it's not as bad as the fish on, the, on that dude, man. <laughs> Yes, the dude man. It's a new species, the dude man. So yeah, uh, for those I only spent seventeen twenty six. So yeah, pretty darn cheap. Like I said, a lot of them were dollar, two dollars, and none of them were over three bucks. And um, so yeah, that might be a new place for me to get some stuff. So yeah, and it took me a minute to find that, find it. You know, it, it, I like some of the graphic novels. I, Put me over to stuff that was made by Marvel and DC Comics or whatever, and like, this is not what I was looking for. And, you know, it's in a little case right next door to him. I'm like, oh, that's what I wanted. Hey, lady, come over here. You know, I you get the shit open, <laughs> and I pop it open. That's what I find. So yeah, um, <laughs> hope y'all had fun. Uh, I, I love showing all my stuff. I'm crazy in the head. Let's keep on doing this stuff. See y'all next time.